evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Hudson Bay Company and the gracious and wonderful staff at Saks Fifth Avenue, Palm Beach, we welcome you to tonight's feature presentation. Palm Beach, Florida, the nation's winter playground. So get comfortable, relax, and settle into your seats for a pivotal slice of Saks Fifth Avenue history. The town of Palm Beach was developed on 3.9 square miles of land as a resort for the beneficiaries of the Gilded Age by Henry Morrison Flagler, the right-hand man to J.D. Rockefeller. But it was Flagler who developed the corporation as we know it today, enabling companies to do business across state lines. Founded by Rockefeller, the Standard Oil Company would be the first national corporation and for Rockefeller and Flagler, historically the most profitable. By the early 1920s, Palm Beach had become the most lavish resort town in the United States. A winter haven for the elite of society. The best of celebrity. And even periods of tragedy. Through nearly a century of transformation, only one retailer has helped to define a lifestyle as well as the place to see and be seen. After 90 years of impeccable service that has set a standard for hopefuls, we welcome you to Saks Fifth Avenue, Palm Beach. Often met with praise and sometimes even satire, the term lifestyle has become synonymous with Palm Beach. Uh, I had my face lifted. It's still painful when I smile, but you know skin stretches like rubber. Flagler, after retiring from Standard Oil well into his 70s, developed a railway from the greater New York area to Palm Beach, which gave birth to this lifestyle. A lifestyle of escaping the cold New York winter, a practice of the snowbird. The financial elite from Europe and New York needed a shopping destination while sunning and socializing in Palm Beach. Just as Manhattan gave birth to Saks Fifth Avenue in 1924, the intuition of Adam Gimbel and his wife Sophie led to the opening of Saks Palm Beach on Worth Avenue in 1926. As the Saks on Fifth Avenue hosted its devoted clientele, Saks Palm Beach was so devoted that its management and staff would travel from Palm Beach to Southampton, New York the day after Easter, where they would stay and work until Thanksgiving, maintaining client relations while also becoming snowbirds themselves. Two of the most pivotal snowbirds were Marjorie Merriweather Post and her husband E.F. Hutton residents of the cinematically designed Mar-a-Lago, a fortress where philanthropy would become the Palm Beach Badge of Honor at any given winter weekend gala event. A typical season in Palm Beach plays host to over 150 gala events, and since 1926, Saks has been the golden thread of the Palm Beach Socialites event calendar. Saks continues to host events at Mar-a-Lago, as well as numerous residences and venues. And as of 2016, Saks is the only retail establishment granted access to host events at the historic Flagler Museum. These socialites needed their stunning attire while in Palm Beach. And they had their railway, so hence the birth of the trunk show. The trunk show as we know it today is largely credited to the presence of Saks in Palm Beach and has become a standard in the designer industry. 
Trunk shows are important to Palm Beach because they provide an opportunity to view an entire collection of a designer versus an edited version that we offer in our stock. Our designer complex represents 30% to the total store's business. We refer to it here as the engine of the store, serving the upper echelon of Palm Beach clients, not only for their 150 plus black tie events during the season, but also their lifestyle, daytime, and all of their traveling needs. Prior to the end of World War II, Joseph and Rose Kennedy purchased the Addison Meisner designed house that would come to be referred to as the Winter White House less than two decades later. The Kennedys, along with their nine children, would attend nearby St. Edward's Catholic Church and would soon become a staple of Palm Beach. While the Kennedys would certainly influence Palm Beach style, John F. Kennedy's wife, Jacqueline, would define it. Lily Pulitzer, a high school friend of Jackie's, would soon provide looks as irresistible as Florida orange juice. Extending her style all the way to Life magazine, featuring the then first lady of style, Lily Pulitzer called it year-round resort fashion. Designers scrambled to mimic Lily's fashions as they knew it was their saving grace through turbulent economies. The significance of the resort collection lends itself to the true character of the island. Customers can be seen in bright, colorful outfits with unique prints and embellishments, as well as coordinating shoes and handbags. Saks Palm Beach embedded itself as the spark connecting the designer with the client that so desired resort fashion, a tradition that continues to this day. Resort is without a doubt our most significant season. It's the most anticipated collection for our clients upon returning to the island, where they're looking for and so ready for newness and color. And it's also the one collection that's on our floor the longest, so it enables us to service both our residents and our tourists throughout the year. Shoes really is the gateway department for the entire store. We're right at the front door. We have an amazing selection from a ton of different designers. And really, customers can come in and they can work their way from the bottom up on any outfit. Or shoes can be the finishing touch to a beautiful designer dress. Lily's vision even trickled into home decor forcing socialites to take Meisner Mediterranean to an unforeseen new level of Palm Beach chic. For every social encounter, one needed to spur the conversation and serve up in their Florida room. Just as other retailers are starting to embrace the luxury era, Saks Palm Beach is historically part of it. In 2010, Saks Fifth Avenue, in conjunction with the town of Palm Beach, unveiled the living wall on Worth Avenue, setting it apart from any retail establishment of its kind. This vertical garden was assembled in 2010 as part of a nearly $16 million beautification of Worth Avenue. And to this day, it remains the most photographed site in Palm Beach. The Palm Beach Post calls it a work of art and a unique focal point for the internationally known upscale shopping mecca. With community roots so deep and customer care so high, it's no wonder the jewel-like shine of Saks Palm Beach never seems to diminish. Join us on December 1st, 2016 for a 90-day celebration commemorating 90 years of gracious service to the esteemed community of Palm Beach. With your continued support, we're confident the best is yet to come. Out of the tree of life, I just picked me a plum. You came along and everything started to hum. Still, it's a real good bet. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come, and babe, won't it be fine? You think you've seen the sun, but you ain't seen it shine. Wait till the warm ups underway. Oh, wait till our lips have met. 
Wait to see that sunshine day You ain't seen nothing yet The best is yet to come And babe, won't it be fine The best is yet to come Come the day or mine The best is yet to come, come a day or mine Ah, come a day or mine I'm gonna teach you to fly We've only tasted the wine We're gonna drain that cup dry